Welcome to Politics. I'm your host, Yusra Bardi. Did you know the Western Cape government has spent over 5 million rand defending the indefensible against the development of affordable housing at the Tafelberg site in Seapoint? This, in the middle of a housing crisis, in the middle of a cost of living crisis, in the middle of no one can afford the rent in Cape Town crisis. In a written provincial legislature reply to a question from ANC member Cameron Dagmore, Premier Alan Windy stated that 5 million... Fi <coughs> now listen carefully. Listen properly. 5 million... 431,341 rand and 25 cents has been spent on legal fees alone. Doug Moore said that the DA must pay back the money. So last year, on September 7th, uh, at the Western Cape government's first Thursdays, where the public can approach the Premier or the Mayor of Cape Town, activists handed a memorandum to the Premier asking... Keggy, what's the hold up on the release of Tafelberg? So first of all, uh, it's Sheila Madikane. Thank you yes. very much. Thank you, Premier. You came all the way to see me along with all of you. I really appreciate it. That's what this platform is about. You come and engage. Anyone can come and engage. I've also got your document dated today. We will reply to this document. On October 5th, the Premier replied saying, uh, uh, the matter is uh, sub judices, court papers is, you know, mm, hands are tied, sub judice, sub judge judice, blah, 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 blah. But that's not the case. We spoke to our lawyers, we spoke, we did the research, and that's not the case. The province has been releasing land for housing. We know since at least 2020, the Western Cape government has released to the city of Cape Town at least four public parcels of land for housing. It's clear and evident that the National Department and the city of Cape Town are in favour of developing social housing on the Tafelberg site in Seapoint. The city of Cape Town, the same city of Cape Town, has stated clearly that it would develop that site into affordable housing or social housing. So, what is holding up the transfer of land from the Western Cape government to the city? We are asking that the Western Cape government, led by Premier Alan Windy, acknowledge that the ongoing court case around the Tafelberg site, which is currently sitting at the Supreme Court of Appeal, awaiting an outcome, acknowledge that that court case does not preclude the province from transferring that piece of land to the city of Cape Town for the development of housing. We further request your commitment to a timeline for the second feasibility study on the Tafelberg site. Now we know that the Western Cape government has already started on this feasibility study, but what we need is a commitment to timelines as to when that feasibility study will be released. The other issue that Alan Windy, uh, sub judica, technical terms, this, that, is that they said, we don't know if Seapoint actually is part of the restructuring zone, so does it qualify for affordable housing? We don't know. We're the government. We don't know anything. Fact is, it is part of the restructuring zone, so that argument as well falls flat. It's clear and evident that the legal matters are not stopping the province from developing the site into affordable housing. There's affordable housing crisis in Cape Town. Thousands of people are moving here. Something has to be done and it has to be done now. Everybody needs an affordable place that is well located to call home. Uh, that was this episode of Politrix. Thanks for joining us in 2024 and sticking with us all the way through. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.